Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and I hope you are pretty excited and you have waited along for the Saturday coding challenge but here we are again with another Saturday coding challenge. So let's begin this challenge. Now this challenge is a little bit unique just like always and I'm gonna ask you a question. You have to write code for that question and the way you are gonna answer that question is also a little bit tricky so stay tuned. Now let me first address the question here. Now very closely listen to this a unique incident or unique situation which is going on right now here. So what we want to do is just watch on the iPad. There is this nice family and in this family people eat biscuits and a ridiculous amount of biscuit, too many biscuits. But whenever anybody eats any biscuit, they follow a unique pattern of sitting arrangement, okay? So let's just say there's this father in this family who eats ridiculous amount of biscuits, 100 biscuit. So I'm gonna choose a pen, not red, maybe a green. So he eats 100 biscuits. Now I know that is too much, but let's just assume 100 biscuits. Now anybody in the family who eats less biscuit goes on to the lower range and anybody who eats higher biscuit than father goes at the top sitting arrangement. So in this sitting arrangement, let's just say somebody comes up and says that I eat 50 biscuits, uh, is going to be sitting up lower from the father. But if anybody says that I eat 150 biscuit, who is going, he's going to sit uh, at a little bit above from the father. A very unique situation, but that's why it, uh, it is a unique problem. Now from the 50 also, the second chain of this family also follow the same father pattern. If somebody comes up and say, I am, I'm gonna eat 20 biscuits, he goes up uh, 20 like that. And if somebody says, I eat 30 biscuit, he is gonna follow that. So that's a very unique pattern with this family. Same goes for the above. If somebody says, I eat 130 biscuits, so he's gonna go uh, lower than that. So this is 130 biscuits. And if somebody says, I eat, let's just say 250 biscuit, he just sits there. So that's a very unique arrangement. So make sure you do take care of that as well. Now, what happens is the unique situation comes up is a new, a new member in the family comes up and he says that I eat, let's just say, 120 biscuits. Now that's a unique situation. What I want to do is I want to find out that in my family, who is the person whose diet is either exactly matching with this new family member diet, or if it is not matching, then I want to simply say, who is the nearest diet person? So in this case, the nearest diet person is definitely 130. So that's what we really want to find out. Now, I also want you to write the exact same code to find the nearest diet person, but also take care about one more situation, which is, let's just say a new member in the family comes up and whose diet is 130. So I want to find out exactly that in my entire family, uh, uh, my family, who is the person who might be matching exactly the diet of this new person. So that's a challenge. Please write a program addressing that you are given this entire family as an argument and in another second argument you will be given who is the the new diet of the person let's just say 120 and you have to figure out a code that can find out who is the nearest matching diet person so it's a very unique biscuit diet problem it is again one of the easiest one so that's the question uh, you have got it and feel free to use any programming language that you would like to use in this case now one more interesting stuff about this problem now in the Saturday coding challenge, my whole entire idea is to prepare you for upcoming interviews. And in these interviews, hundreds of people can write exactly right code for that. But what interviewers are usually looking up is how well you can understand the problem and how well you can explain the solution of that problem. It's not about just writing code. So what I want you to do is I want you to use Google presentation this time. So use the tool by Google, Google presentation, prepare a nice presentation in explaining this entire problem and please write your code in that presentation also and explain the entire code in the presentation. You can uh, feel free to upload video and of course I expect a video solution here because the chance of cheating is minimalized uh, using the videos. So I want you to explain all of that using Google presentation. There are hundreds of screen recording software, use them. Uh, feel free to use your laptop mic. I don't really care about the audio video quality here. Now one more interesting thing about this one, there is going to be one selection of the person, you can use any programming language. The prize money is going to be 1000 rupees, make sure you explain your best for this particular problem, solution and code and why you have written exact lines of code, what it is doing, so explain all of that. 
So that's all what you have to do and make sure you submit the assignment in the link in the description section below. And again, the deadlines are same around 6 p.m. for the next Monday. So today is 26th. So uh, on the 28th, on the Monday around 6 p.m., don't wait for that. We sometimes close the line like 10 or 15 minutes before that. So it's around. So make sure you don't wait till the last moment. Again, I repeat, the problem is really simple. It's the easiest one. I will give highest weightage to the explanation. Everybody can write the code, but how well you can explain, that's gonna be important task. So I think that's it. I have answered all the things. And again, the prize money is gonna be thousand rupees, thousand Indian rupees for this particular challenge. Make your presentation, explain that as best as you can. Use Google presentation only. That's the criteria for this entire thing. Record a video, submit that video, and one more important thing. If you're submitting a video through YouTube, make sure you use hashtag coding challenge. Not Saturday coding challenge, hashtag coding challenge. If you're submitting it through Google Drive or via Dropbox, that's totally fine. But if you are sharing it through YouTube, follow the rule, hashtag coding challenge. So that's it for this video. I hope many of you will take part in this easiest challenge and will get prepared for the upcoming interviews through them. That's it for this video. Let's catch up in the next one. And yeah, subscribe that. This is important one for these challenges now. You should be subscribed to my channel. That's it for this video. Let's catch up in the next one.